Latest developments now on efforts to bring a full-fledged casino to Newport. The Newport City Council narrowly approved a resolution last night that could lead to a question being put on the November ballot to let voters decide on adding table games to the slots parlor. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly working the story joins us now live with the latest from the mobile newsroom. Patrick, the possibility of table games here in Newport at Newport Grand is, well, back on the table. The city council last night voted to ask the state lawmakers, the General Assembly up in Providence, to put a referendum on the ballot in November asking voters statewide, yes or no, table games or not. As it is in so many other communities, the prospect of table games is a divisive subject here in Newport as well. An investment group led by former Providence Mayor Joe Palino is urging state lawmakers to add a referendum to the November ballot asking Rhode Island residents to say yes to table games. You say bring it on? Yeah, bring it on. Why? What's the appeal? <laughs> I know, just the excitement of being able to risk all your money to get a bigger reward. Yeah. The thrill of the chase? The thrill of the chase, yeah, exactly. I'm good with them. I personally am good with them. I mean, the state's like a big, it's a big casino anyways. It didn't used to be that way, but back in the 80s when they switched everything around, you can do anything you want to. Table games isn't going to make a difference either way, in my opinion. A similar proposal failed two years ago, and opposition to table games remains strong. One woman spent $11,000 on newspaper ads against the idea. I think it will cannibalize the local businesses downtown, and it has done that in other cities around the country. And so I don't want that to happen to our citizens. If a referendum on table games here at Newport Grand both gets on the ballot in November in a referendum, and if that referendum is approved, that would still be only a start. Voters here in Newport also would have to give it the okay. It's a two-pronged process. Live in Newport with the East Bay, with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.